Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Avarian, and welcome to a game called War Z. What this is, this is a uh, zombie apocalyptic MMO RPG kind of thing. Uh, it's pretty cool. They just re uh, uplifted the, uh, I believe it's called an NDA, which basically means, hey, uh, the NDA states that uh, they can't, no one can post uh, YouTube videos or live stream it or pictures or anything like that without their consent and they lifted that so people are now able to make uh, videos and live stream and all this stuff so I figured I'll play this game some uh, I don't really see how you can make a, a series on this uh, I might be able to there's really no uh, goal at least as of right now uh, this game is, I think it's still on alpha, it should be in beta very, very soon. Uh, and basically, you know, you're, you make a guy, you roam around this area, uh, you try to scavenge whatever you can, your, your only goal is really survival. Whether that be uh, scavenging for food, killing zombies along the way, or if you want to, you can, uh, you know, kill other players. Uh, myself, I prefer to scavenge. If I need to, I will really uh, take out the unsuspecting victim. But I really try to stay away from that because I know a lot of people don't like it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new character. I will be a variant 083. I'm going to be doing normal mode just because of hardcore mode. I mean, there's really not much of a difference. Uh, mainly, if you die in hardcore mode, uh, you, you lose all your stats and stuff like that. But we're going to stick with normal. We're going to continue. And, uh... I'm going to play as... How do I unlock this? Information. Oh! He looks cool. Oh, Chuck Norris! <laughs> uh, I guess he's cool. I'm going to be Austin. It could be a chick. Damn. Those pixelated boobies. Uh, I'm going to be Austin. I don't like the customization. I think it kind of sucks. But, oh well. No big deal. Yeah, there we go. I like I like that. That's, that's pretty sexy. Those look like the, uh, the jeans that become shorts, and those are just the stupidest thing ever. Uh, so I'll create him. He is uh, ready to go. Uh, one thing about this game is uh, I've got an inventory. Got all the stuff I've uh, acquired through my other people that I've played with and stuff like that. Uh, starting off, I am not going to be using any of it. Uh, I will actually, however, give myself a hammer. Uh, because I know for a fact it is no fun to be running around with no ways to kill a zombie. Uh, it's pretty stupid. Um, I would give myself a flashlight, but uh, flashlights are pretty bad. They give away your position and stuff like that, so I need to stop talking and uh, get into this. Now, uh, there's a lot of servers. I think around 250? Yeah, a lot of servers. And uh, I have one I, I play on mostly because I've met some people online. Uh, and sometimes they've been on here. They haven't been on recently. Damn it. Okay, sometimes it's kind of glitchy. The favorites doesn't always work. And then when you have to come back here to browse, I have to go through this whole loading screen again. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I play on the server number 8 in North America, uh, so if you ever want to play along with me, that is where I will be, mainly. Unless uh, I decide to go over, I'll probably choose server number 83, just because like in the last numbers of my uh, my YouTube name, 083, I don't know. There's really no meaning but behind the 083, it was just all kind of randomly picked. But hopefully I can uh, look at these servers real soon because this this loading screen is becoming a pain in the ass. And uh, yeah, so I'm look. Oh, there we go. Uh, now I gotta find number eight. Sometimes it's near the top. Sometimes you gotta do some scrolling. Oh, there's 266. There might be a lot more than. Well, there. Already, I know there's more than 250. There might be close to 300. That's ridiculous. I didn't realize that. Uh, each server's got about... it's holds 40, obviously, as you can see over there. God, I hate scrolling this far. Oh, there it is. I will again try to favorite this, and uh, hopefully it works. 
Um, this stuff, see what tracers, nameplates, and crosshairs, those haven't been implemented yet. But, uh, let's go ahead and join the server. Either the music's not playing for whatever reason, but oh well, we're going to take a loading screen. Sometimes these loading screens take forever, so I'll just start it back up once the loading screen is done. Alright, so we're finally about done. Uh, that loading screen took forever. I don't know why. It's still taking forever. Come on. Okay, it is nighttime. Awesome. Hopefully there's no one around. It is dark. So, uh, the quality may not be too good. I apologize. I'm getting some frame rate issues. Not cool. Not cool at all. But, uh, yeah, I really don't know uh, how well this is going to work. Um... A lot of the time I'm just going to be running around from place to place, so it would be really cool if I could get some people to play with. That'd be awesome. I need to uh, look at my map and figure out where I am, so I'll just lay down. That way no one can uh, snipe the crap out of me. Okay, so we are we are right here. Now, these circles are uh, safe areas, so I can go in there, go into my inventory whenever I want to. But uh, I want to try to get in here or around Cottonwood Bend. That seems to be the places I hang out the most. So let's try to make our way over there. Uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty dark, so... Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. The quality may be a little hard to see. Um, yeah, funny story about down there. That's... Yeah, I think I was traveling through there, up from, there's a city down there, and uh, one of the things that happened is I was with one of the guys I was playing with, a buddy of mine, uh, I heard a sniper shot, uh, turned around, and I was dead, and uh, so I'm thinking, oh shit, there's someone out there trying to kill me, and there was, so uh, I sneak on around, I got a shotgun in my hand. The sniper pops his head up from the rocks. Boom! He's down. Uh, turns out he also had another buddy. I found him. Boom! Take him out. Oh, man. It was one of those things where I kind of wish I had on camera. But I didn't. But hopefully there will be plenty more uh, opportunities for that. And as you can see, it's a... Uh, it's a lot like you would expect. I think, I don't know what year it is exactly, it's based sometime in the future. Uh, the zombie apocalypse has been around for, I believe, five years. Um, that's why there's so many and not a few, or a few little players. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, but we're going to go to this town right here. Hopefully we can find some supplies. We're looking for uh, food, water, uh, a gun would be phenomenal, but uh, the odds of finding the guns in this game are pretty slim. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've obviously found them before, as you saw in the beginning when I showed you my stash. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not counting it out. Uh, I've got my speakers going on through, not my headset. Uh, this music, uh, the music's decent. Um, if I had my headset on, there's a couple times where the music just BOOM comes out of nowhere. And it makes me jump sometimes. Let's get my hammer out in case anything. There's any, any, any zombies. It seems to be pretty quiet. Uh, one of the things I'm not looking forward to is uh, finding somebody else. Those are zombies over there. Uh, Oh, there's something right here. You can tell by the purple glow. It is a can of soda. Alright, cool. That, uh, as you can see to the bottom left-hand corner, I have a food meter and I have a, a thirst meter. Um, I need to keep myself hydrated and I need to keep food in my stomach. Uh, and also the, the icon of the human is my health. So I need to make sure I don't go to 0% health. Because what happens when that happens is, well, you, you obviously die, but uh, you have to wait another hour before you can play again. And this is a lot of what it is. 
kind of running around, uh, picking up stuff. The chem light gives off light. Granola bars, food, bandages. Those are awesome, awesome bandages. Um, stop you from bleeding out. Heal you as well. Uh, very, very nice to have. I kind of like actually running around in the dark because uh, you do have the advantage of the darkness on your hand. No one, it's really hard to see people unless you're running around with the flashlight, like I said uh, earlier. So that's kind of why I try to stay away from the flashlight unless I absolutely have to. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we're still trying to scavenge what we can from here. Uh, I'm trying to s keep as many zombies from being uh, alerted that I am here. Because uh, if they... I think if one of them starts to chase, um, if there's another one nearby, they will chase me as well. Um, but they have to be fairly close. We got another chem light and another granola bar. Luckily those will stack. And here's some water. So we're doing pretty good as far as food and water goes. Granola bars, I don't think, refill that much food. But then again, it's better that than nothing. <laughs> 